In today's video, we're going to go over what I eat day to day. I eat pretty much the same thing. I'm kind of boring, not really fancy or anything like that. Um, we're going to go over kind of how many calories I eat per day um, and what, you know, my pre-workout meals and everything like that, and post-workout meals as well, what those kind of look like for growth and muscular building. Let's get into it. So to kick things off, I am lean bulking, um, which just basically means I am bulking, but I'm keeping it like super clean. Um, I stay away from dairy, uh, I stay away from processed foods, like I don't eat chips hardly at all. The only chips I really eat are Tostitos with salsa, that stuff is gas. Um, I could never get away from that stuff. I mean any processed foods, anything like that, I cut them out, I barely ever eat those. Um, and plus I really don't like it, I was telling someone the other day, I literally don't get like a sweet tooth or anything like that, or any cravings. Um, I basically just crave like good food, like a big steak or like a big you know, 10 ounce chicken breast or like a Chipotle burrito or something along those lines. So as for calories, um, I don't track anything thankfully. Um, Tracking is not a bad thing at all. Um, I just personally would rather not be on my phone like tracking everything day to day, um, especially where I'm at right now. If I were to, you know, bulk up like super heavy like full force, I would totally want to do that. Same goes for the flip. Um, if I was like shredding for a show or something like that, I would definitely of course be using you know, a tracking app. So yeah, I, I don't really track anything, so I don't have like a specific number, but if I had to guess, it would be anywhere from about like 2.25K calories to about 3,000 calories. Um, I do eat a ton of food, um, but that food is normally like super, super good quality. Um, I don't do any supplements at all. The only supplements I do are creatine, uh, but I stay away from like protein, stuff like that. I do also have been using uh, pre-workout a little bit recently just because um, I get pretty tired by the end of the day and that's when we train is at night um, and you know at the end of the day at, at the end of like a day full of you know zoom meetings or zoom for uh, you know classes and everything like that and then also work I get a little bit tired so a little bit of pre-workout kind of spikes me up and gets me going other than that um, I have done vegan protein um, in the past I like it, I, I used Ghost, um, I don't remember exact. maybe Cereal Milk, the vegan one, I think, but it, it was like super good, I just, you know, don't feel like protein powder is really necessary. So since the beginning of my, you know, training journey and everything, I think I've only used, uh, or only bought, purchased protein powder maybe like five times, um, and that was like seven years ago, so. That just goes to show, like, literally I do not use protein powder at all. I don't think it's necessary at all. Um, and I've heard before, like, a saying, like, it's just icing on the cake. Just because, like, I mean, it, it's nice to use, like, if you want to, like, hit all your meals and then get a little bit of extra protein in for the day, use a protein shake. Do not, do not, I always tell people this, do not replace a meal for a protein shake because, you know, it's not as easily processable by the body. Um, you know, sometimes some of that stuff goes in and goes out the other way. Um, that's how I view it always. Um, and your body can't really process those nutrients as well as it could if you were eating more organic foods. So I've always kind of stayed away from protein powder, not because, you know, I think it's bad or anything. I think it's helpful, um, but I don't think it's necessary at all. And I definitely do not want to rely on that, um, you know, replacing a meal or anything like that. So in terms of how many meals I eat, Per day, it's usually around four big meals, four to five big meals. It just kind of depends. I'm not a snacker at all. Um, if you are a snacker, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure those snacks are, you know, uh, productive. Not like you know a bag of chips or Cheetos or anything like that. Depending on your goals, right? But if you want to lean bulk, um, don't get into that stuff at all. But yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's just go ahead and get into the video. Um, and I'll show you everything I eat in a day. Like I said earlier, it kind of, I mean, it, it does differ day to day, um, but it basically stays true every single day um, just because I'm not really, you know, a fancy eater or anything. I basically eat the same things every single day. So for this video, I really wanted to just kind of show what I eat day to day. Um, so we'll just use this day as an example. I pretty much eat the same thing just about every single day. So this is a pretty accurate representation of what I eat and how much calories I eat. But I'm gonna break down pretty much everything. So let's go ahead and get into it. Also, I'm wearing a hat because I just woke up. Um, it's like super late right now, but I was up really late doing a couple things. Um, but yeah, 
I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm cooking up right now. Basically, we've got some hash browns with some uh, ham in there. I do that just about every single day to mix with this guy, which is four sunny side up eggs, which equates to around like 24 grams of protein. I think um, most standard eggs, I use the whole egg, so it's about six grams of protein per egg. Um, but I, I eat this just about every single morning. It's super easy. I've explained this on my Instagram, how to actually make it. Um, and it takes like maybe five minutes. That's what, that's like the beauty of it. That's why I do it. So this is just a really, really quick pre-workout meal. I normally train at night, but today I'm going to train in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and just eat this. I'll show you guys the final product when it's done. Um, but yeah, super easy to make. I encourage everyone to do it. It's high in protein. A little bit of carbs in there from the hash browns, a little bit of protein from the ham, and it's just a good like stomach filler before you go hit a big uh, workout. All right, so that's the final product right here. Um, added a bagel in there. I don't like to have a lot of carbs uh, just because I don't like feeling super full. That's kind of how my body reacts to a lot of carbs like pasta or heavy rice or something like that. Um, and I definitely don't want that before a big workout. Also got some coffee and a tall glass of water here. I got Ryan Dangler on in the cut here. I've been throwing on a lot of uh, YouTube content while I eat just because it's, I don't know, it's kind of like motivating and it kind of just like gets me ready for the day. Especially if I'm going to train, I always like to watch a quick YouTube video just to kind of get my mind correct and in the right state. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this meal up and then I believe we're gonna go train real quick. So we got meal two here right after the gym. It's not it's not really a big meal. Um, I'm probably going to eat a big meal here in like two hours or so, but here's what I've got. So I got one cup of white rice and then like eight ounces of chicken or so. I like to cut them up just because it's a lot easier and I don't have to worry about cutting it up uh, before I eat it. I cut it up like while I'm cooking or like right before I cook it and I just throw it on the pan. But yeah, here's what I'm eating right now. Like I said, it's not really a big meal. I'm going to have like a lot of water with it as well. Um, and then, like I said, in about like two hours or so, I'll probably get like Chipotle or something. Uh, that's what I'm eating right now. Um, I'm going to eat it. And then while I'm eating, I'll probably do um, the little homework that I have today. Unfortunately, I am in summer school. I have like one class right now. Um, I had one earlier, but that finished, thankfully. So I have one class. And I'm going to do the homework that I have. Um, wow. My like, I don't know why. I feel like I have like a double chin or something. Oh, well. But anyways, I'm going to eat this, and I will catch up with you guys at the third meal. Okay, so meal three is going to be mom's chicken pot pie. Um, so there's just like potatoes in here, and then also obviously chicken, uh, some carrots, and some peas. So yeah, I'm going to down this real quick. Um, it's probably a pretty decent portion-sized meal. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like pretty... It's pretty big. It's going to be a lot of calories. Probably, I would estimate around 800 um, to like 900 calories. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in just a little bit. Um, and I'll show you meal four. All right, so this is meal four right here. I just got one original chicken sandwich and then a spicy chicken sandwich. 
um, from a Chick-fil-A with some fries and just a tall glass of water. I'm gonna take this down um, and then possibly eat a little bit later. I'll probably play some video games for a little bit, either that or just watch some YouTube. It's a Friday. And unfortunately, all my friends are out of town, so I'm just be chilling here by myself, but you know, we'll be kicking it. Rip some boys and cat or something, I don't know, we'll see. All right guys, so fifth meal. I promise this is the last meal. I normally eat like four to five meals. This isn't even really a meal, this is more of like a snack. Um, I guess you could kind of, kind of call it a meal, but not really. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing, there's ham and turkey in there and then some barbecue sauce actually. I think barbecue sauce um, goes super well with sandwiches. I don't know why. Many people may think that's weird, but I think it's pretty good. And mayonnaise on there as well and some Ritz crackers just to finish off the night. And some water. Hydrate yourself. 